Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Backbone PlayStation Edition, actually. So, um, I had the Razer Kishi for around two days, and I liked it. I really did like it, but the thing is that it didn't work with some of the games that I played. So, um, the on-screen mapping was nice. It's just, I wanted something simple where I can just, you know, like, connect and play and not have to, like, do all that or try to figure out the sensitivity and everything. <laughs> so, um, I went back and returned to Razer Key Shivi 2 and I got the PlayStation Edition of the Android of the Backbone, which I'm excited to use. I'm not as excited as Back, no, Kishi, so I'm getting them confused, but I'm, I'm still pretty excited. Um, one thing that I... One of the big things that I didn't like about the Razer Kishi V2 was the, uh, um, I'm at my mom's place, so I actually have a different knife this time. I won't have to use like a butcher knife. <laughs> All right, anyways, thankfully my mom has always has scissors. She has like three pairs of scissors. It's insane. There's a lot of scissors. Is three pairs too many scissors for someone to have? Do people usually carry more than one? I like, I mean, I carry like, Two scissors, but they're both for like cutting hair, you know. I had to drive like an hour and 30 minutes away. I forgot my tacos in the oven. Thankfully, my brother's girlfriend came through and she, well, she didn't save my tacos. Those tacos were dead. They were burned. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the Razor Key. Here is the Backbone PlayStation Edition unwrapped, finally. Um, okay, so I guess I just gotta like... Hey, hey, that's not a bad box. Uh, let's see, let's open it up. Let's see what we got in here. And that's what it looks like when you open it up. Very, very similar to the or Razer Kishi V2, or should I say this one's similar to the... Well, there it is. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, here it is in my hands. I am holding the PlayStation edition of the Backbone. It feels nice. PlayStation mode. Okay, no, it's nice. It's good. I like it. I kind of feel like this joysticks. One of the things I didn't like about the uh, Kishi was the joysticks. And these joysticks... I feel, I feel like they feel a little bit better. I don't want to say they feel like amazing because they're still tiny. You know, they're super tiny. And they also don't have the extra buttons, which is also kind of a downside. But we have a jet phone, headphone jack, and we also have a charging port, which can we can charge our phone while we're playing games. And um, it feels nice. It's not as clicky as. The Razer Kishi V2, which I'm kind of disappointed at. I mean, I like the clickiness, but I just there's also like one thing I like about this. It like it, you can hold it in your hands, so like it feels like you're holding the controller, you know. So there's something to grip on while you're playing. Um, so when you put your phone in, the phone will sit right here, but you, you're still able to grip like this little area down here, which I like. Um, Kind of wish they added some kind of like back pedals or something because I mean they had room, so that's a downside. Um, but it's not bad. I feel like there's a couple ways where I can, you know, get it working. Feel wise, uh, feel wise, this feels a lot better than the Razer KGV2. So this feels, I mean, it feels like a controller, like this feels like $60. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like $109 or $11, but it doesn't, it, it feels like $60. Um, I like the clickiness. 
Yeah. So, there it is for one last time in my hands. Feels nice. It can definitely stretch out. Um, we're going to try playing up a couple games, and um, we're going to see how it works. Hopefully it works on the, um, what do you call it, COD Mobile. And I'm sure it'll work on, you know, like, in, well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think it has any remap in um, technology or applications or whatnot. I think it just has like a basic on, you know, controller. It's just a controller, yes, yeah, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> But you're able to play, you know, games like, I mean, it, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think it does. I mean, I'm looking at the box here. Um, shows you a little thing and it has a little code. Um, kind of surprised it doesn't come with like uh, <laughs> the uh, Game Pass, you know, because I guess it's because it's PlayStation. It, I mean, it won't, but. I think the black one came with like Game Pass for a month, which I don't really need because I have Game Pass already, but that still would have been nice to have, but okay, we're going to go ahead and test it out, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. <clears throat> Alright, so I, I was able to finally fit my Magic Red 7 on the uh, the backbone. It was a really tight fit, like right to the edge. But here's the uh, backbone app when you're starting it off. Um, I, I passed like two little options already, but it was just said in my name and whatnot. And it says for your backbone one work, you'll need a couple of things. So display apps, you know, we're going to go ahead and allow this. So there's some streaming software on this where you can like stream and take pictures directly from the controller. So you can stream directly to Switch, which is kind of cool. I'm not a streamer, but well, I'm not. I, I, I'm not anymore. <laughs> uh, you can hold this to take a screenshot, and you can press to record gameplay. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and skip for now. I'm not sure what this is. Continue. Now, this is this is why I like this because uh, I have Game Pass and then I also have GeForce now, which both you know they work really great. So I'm able to have like console experiences with this, and even it even tells you right here Game Pass Ultimate, GeForce Now, Google Stadia. I think Google Stadia is canceled, so they're not really working with Google Stadia anymore. But Game Pass Ultimate and GeForce Now it says you're good to go. Press the and any time to open up the backbone. So this is the backbone app for Android is available for free. Backbone Plus edition will be available at a later date, which adds additional features, perks, and in-game rewards. So we have early access. Let's see, we'll scroll down. And this is what the app looks like. It looks nice. <laughs> it actually looks a lot better than the uh Issues. So I'm actually kind of um, surprised. So we got Moonlighter, we got Game Pass. These are some of my games. Street Force Now, Call of Duty Mobile, Rimworld. Oh, so these are some other games. PS PS Remote Play. Some popular games at Backbone. So this is cool. So I'm kind of interested. Is this pl oh play now? It's by Fortnite. Um, I was gonna say I don't know if I have enough um, battery for a game of Fortnite, but um, we're gonna go ahead and try it and see what happens. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't know this had like um, cloud gaming on here. But it looks like it's having some trouble actually launching it. Ah, here we go. I wonder if I have my Wi Fi connected. Also, I have my Wi Fi connected. <laughs> this is cool. All right. So, this is actually kind of a surprise. Because um, I was using GeForce to. Um, 
I'm gonna do something else. Ah, oh, man, okay, this is WW Activate on code. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I was able to log into my account through this, and um, we are playing Fortnite. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so let's actually try to play a game and see what happens. We do have our start menu options here, so we can go ahead and look at the settings that we got going on. I want to see what the FPS is on this. Um, see what else we got going on here. And what, what are the graphics looking like? Oh, it's not showing me the graphics because it's cloud gaming. Can't really hear anything. I mean, it's not playing amazing, but I mean, you still got Fortnite on your phone. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the GeForce NVIDIA thing works a little bit better than this, because I mean, this looks kind of rough, honestly. <laughs> I think I may have to switch my settings out here. So we've got with the controller. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, yeah, we gotta switch our. Well, we'll leave it like this and see what happens. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Close that off, and uh, let's try to enjoy a game. I only got like less than ten percent battery, so I should be okay. I feel like if I was to take these down, it would work a lot better. I don't have a squad, so I'm on my own for right now. I think this is solos, honest. I have no idea what I'm playing. The game, it looks, yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, I already missed. Are you already missed the Razor Kishi? The one thing I liked about it was the extra buttons in the back, which was nice to use. These don't have the extra buttons, so you gotta kind of take your finger away from the joystick to jump and to make, I mean, to do anything else, honestly, really. But it's a small little trade off. I kind of want to say that the joysticks on this feel a lot better than the uh, Razer Kishi one, though. They don't feel like, you know, Nintendo Switch controllers or Joy-Cons. They actually feel like you're holding something. And they have a little bit of resistance, too, for you to, like, you know... It's still not perfect, but <laughs> it's better than the uh, Kishu one. I don't know, I just didn't like it because they were using the uh, Joy-Cons from like, I mean, it, it felt like you were using, you know, like a Nintendo Switch. I mean, this doesn't feel any better. I mean, this feels a little bit better. I want to say like 10, 15% better, but you're, you're still, you know, having to deal with, you know, the little radius that it has. So they're very sensitive. Like someone died over here. And they're 
down there. Not even trying to go down there yet. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Heck yeah. Yeah, we got a kill. So yeah, the graphics aren't any good on this. And we'll do some gameplay so you can like see what I'm talking about. Because the GeForce, it has some... It has interesting. It has like low ratings. But I mean, it's, it still plays nice. Now, the only... You know, the only downside about using GeForce is you kind of have to get a membership or... Because, you know, the free membership, you can only play for about an hour. Oh, you can't really play... Well, yeah, you can. You can play Fortnite. I forgot. Yeah, you can. But anyways, you play for about an hour, and after an hour, you actually get kicked off the game. And it's mostly just, you know, like, so other free players can get into the game, too. There we go. Bam. So yeah, these aren't terrible, but they could be better, you know. And I know it feels like I'm nitpicking on the item, but the thing is that like, if no one complains about them, you know, they're going to keep on living it like this for the next generation. Or if they ever make like a backbone too, they're going to use the small little Joy-Cons again, or joysticks is what they're called, and it's... They're not fun to use, you know, your hands get cramped because you're using this little, little tiny thing. And I mean, if you're going to be carrying a backbone, it's mostly because, you know, you're going to be doing some, like, competitive gaming. You know, there's plenty of other controllers out there to be doing, like, emulation gaming or even, like, just, you know, like, on map and controls gaming for, like, games like Genshi Impact. Oh, shooting me. And even games like Ancient Impact, you can play that like on GeForce, so you're not technically bound to just, you know, playing it on, you know, through Android. I got shot, but I don't know who I got shot by. But no, these joysticks feel, they do feel a lot better than the other ones though, for sure. Oh, shoot. I knew he was somewhere around here. I'm not stupid. Oh my god, I was trying to use my whip slinging. I didn't know I was shooting. Alright, well, yeah. Alright, let me, let's go back into the, uh, app, the app and see what else we got. So we're gonna... I don't feel right. <laughs> Lost the lead. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to high. Yo, that feels a little bit better. Oh shit. Changing bag. Yeah, 
There we go. Ah, got killed. With enemy. Okay, I think it was just because like my phone was dying or whatever. It started stuttering really bad. But I think we're good now for whatever reason. This controller is not perfect, but you can definitely pull some cool stuff off. I don't know why, but this is this is this is this is this is I was gonna say the sensitivity doesn't feel right. Huh, got him with the hive. 